In the Einhorn Bird Regiment in Germany, there exists a prestigious school for gifted students. These gifted students are not the regular kind of gifted students. They're not there because they can read exceptionally well for their age, or because they can solve extremely difficult math questions. Though many of the students here also possess these talents, the students at the school are gifted in other ways. These students have gifts of the supernatural variety. Good morning, Catherine. Good morning, Alinka. Do you know what magical creatures we are learning about today? I think we are learning about unicorns. Earlier, I heard someone warn the teacher to watch out for a horn or something. Oh, here comes the teacher now. Good morning, class. Please be seated, and make sure you have all cast your protect spells. You will need them because today we are going to be learning about dragobs. Teacher, what is a dragob? This, Linnea, Sophia. Please bring today's specimen in. A dragob is a mix between a dragon and a goblin. Fully matured dragobs are roughly 1.7 meters tall and average. Dragob young are roughly 15 cm in height, as you can see by this smaller example that I have bought in my bag. Aw, so cute! You must exercise extreme caution with dragobs, as they can and do eat absolutely everything. Later at lunchtime. Hey, Cat Matt, you aren't eating much today. Yeah, Tommy isn't really my favorite. I think most people just like eating it. Hey, look, something's going on over there. Isn't that the assistant from class? It was putting the trophies in her bag. So disgusting! How does it all fit? The, the dragon. Sophia, what are you doing? The more you feed a dragon, the hungrier and bigger it gets. It's just a baby. It won't hurt anyone. Ow! It bit me. Look what you've done! It is eating everything, and it will keep growing and growing until it consumes the whole school. We can feed her magic potion. Girls, girls, let's go to drag. Hey, look over there, there. There's a book for potions for dragobs. Ingredients: the first fruit born on a tree, the heart of a bumblebee, a drop of water from a pool. A sample of the monster stool. Ew, that's disgusting. A bumblebee heart. Maybe, maybe it means we just need to rend the bee's heart, like we just need to fall in love. That is not even the worst part. We have all the ingredients here except the last one, which is also the most disgusting. Sample of the monster stool. Do you know what that means? Oh, I do. Stool means. Ew. Ew. Ew! But it's okay. I think it went in my bag earlier. There should be some pellets there. We just need to get my backpack. Okay, I think I have everything else. Let's go. My bag is over there. Got it. 
Okay, throw the trap got pool over here. You no way. I'll just throw the bar to the Nia and she can mix it. <sighs> you are not touching the dragon stool. Anyway, I think it is okay if we just put everything into the bag and throw it at the dragon. <sighs> oh no, she missed. Don't worry, I have an idea. Watch out! She was just a first grader. Something's wrong with the track of Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, she is okay. Okay! <coughs> I'm not okay! I'm covered in monster puke! <laughs> Thank you for listening to the first ever Kids International Podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider liking and subscribing. If you would like to take part in future episodes, feel free to check us out on iron.org. Yeah!